Okay, uh, this is a little time consuming, but let me show you what I've done so far uh, for creating my scrolling background. Probably, this is probably going to be a better way. Hopefully, somebody out there will know. What I've done is I uh, just filled background black and then I took my eraser and then I set my eraser size and I bumped it down all the way to the bottom so I could see the whole thing and now I'll just erase. That's too small. Let's see. Alright, so I erase. Um, that's too small too. <clears throat> Alright, so I erase the pieces that I don't want. And I get some interesting shapes sometimes. And then I click OK. Now I've got my background. That's um, actually this is B3. You know what? I'm going to name them B2. Let's put B2, background 2. This one's B1. B1. And I need to keep them in order so I make sure I got them correctly labeled B0. Um, and then B5. B5. Now there's a really neat way of dragging, uh, dragging scripts over from one to the other. Right click, right click, right click. Come on, right click. It's really slow. Right click. Center click, left click, left click, right click. Okay, duplicate right there, and I just drag that into. You can see how the halo around B5 changes. That's what we want. And sprite four. How did I miss B2? Something's wrong. B0, okay, why did I not get that right? B1, B2, and finally this one will be B3. I need to make sure it's B3 by, rena by renaming it. B3, okay, so it helps keep my, keeps everything in order Again, um, it's a clumsy, well, I think it's rather clumsy way to, uh, to get a scroller. Um, my guy does not move up or down yet, so he's just left, right. And of course, he doesn't recognize the earth moving beneath his feet. Um, here we go. And you can see it doesn't actually say which one we're in at the moment, does it? I don't know if I'm in B3 or B. Well, actually, now I know I'm in B3. So uh, there it is. That's a simple scroll. Maybe not the easiest way to do it, but if you got better ideas, please share.